Windsor Fire Rescue Service speaking with Deputy Fire Chief Brian McLaughlin about Fire Prevention Week. And Deputy Chief, why is it important we talk about Fire Prevention Week? Fire Prevention Week is the time of the year that we offer fire safety tips and information to keep you and your family safe. Let's start with smoke alarms. What are some things that people should remember about smoke alarms? Smoke alarms need to be operational and they need to be located on every story of your home, particularly outside of any sleeping areas. What about checking them and changing your batteries? You need to follow the manufacturing recommendations, but uh, we recommend you change your batteries twice a year. Uh, we recommend on the uh, same date that you change your box. Uh, other avenues, you should clean them, uh, preferably monthly, by vacuuming them. Um, a lot of Windsorites might be surprised to find out what the number one cause of fires is in Windsor. In the city of Windsor, the number one cause of fire is cooking fires. So what are some tips that we should know about that? We strongly encourage residents to remember to stay in the kitchen when cooking, especially if using oil or high temperatures. Keep a proper fitting pot lid near the stove when cooking. If a pot catches fire, slide the lid over the pot and turn the stove off. Do not move the pan. Wear tight fitting or rolled up sleeves when using the stove. Loose dangling clothing can easily catch fire. Keep combustibles such as cooking utensils, dishcloths, paper towels and pot holders a safe distance from the stove. Keep children away from the stove when cooking. If you do get a burn, cool the wound under cool running water for three to five minutes. If the burn is severe, seek medical attention. What can a family do to prepare themselves in the case of emergency? The best thing a family can do to prepare for an emergency is to develop and practice a home fire safety plan. Make sure everyone knows two ways out of each room, if possible. Determine who will be responsible for helping young children, older adults, or anyone else that may need assistance. Choose a meeting place outside such as a tree or lamp post where everyone can be accounted for. If you encounter smoke, get low and go under the smoke to the nearest safe exit. Call 911 for the fire service from outside the home. Once you are out of the home, stay out. Never re-enter a burning building. Uh, Deputy Chief, a lot of people use candles as well, especially in the case of a power outage. What are some things they should remember? Some of the things you should remember if you're going to use candles during the power outage is to use a sturdy candle holder so the candle doesn't tip over. Uh, use a hurricane chimney so that the uh, convection of the vapors gets dispersed. Uh, remember to keep kids and pets a safe distance away from the candle. And always remember to extinguish the candle if you exit a room. What are some other things people might want to know in case you know of a power outage? And after, during the power outage, you should remember to turn off any stoves or any elements that may be ignition sources, so that way when the, when the electricity comes back on, uh, you've eliminated any ignition sources. And if people need more information, where should they go? They should go to the windsorfire.com or they can call us at 519-253-6573. Remember to have a fire safe fire prevention week.